I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey there, thanks for joining me. This is Manny the Man Lopez with Power Lead Systems PLS Tips with Manny. Each week I give you guys some new strategies and tips on promoting your business online or offline and also positioning yourself as an expert in your industry. Today is no different. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the best ways that I've found to produce results, grow your network of influence, and really just find new leads and customers. And that's networking events. Okay, I don't know where you're at in the world. You may be in one of the 163 different countries that this Power Lead System uh, tips reaches. But in my country, I'm in the U.S. and I'm in California. There's a, a what do you call it? A tremendous amount of networking events around. And what I like to do is I like to go out and shake hands with people. I like to meet them face to face, learn about their business, become a resource for them. And that's really the key when you're out there networking, no matter what you're doing. You could be at the grocery store networking. You could be at a family function and networking. You could be at an actual business event and networking, an expo or a trade show. But you have to have a way to see that people see the value in yourself. Okay, and here's some of the tips that I've used that's really been successful. I've been networking now for close to five years, and you know I've learned a lot from when I started out. I was a very introvert type of person. I didn't usually go up to people, introduce myself, and start conversations. But there's been a few things uh, and some few tips that I've learned that's really helped in breaking those barriers and really getting to understand what people are about and how you can help them. So some of the things that I've done when I go out to networking events. If I'm going to approach um, a female, okay, the first thing you want to approach a female and, and, and kind of discuss about is compliment them on something. Compliment them on their shoes, compliment them on their hair, compliment them on their blouse, compliment them on something that they're doing because majority of the time if they're going out to a networking event or some type of function, they've spent a decent amount of time getting themselves ready and they want to be acknowledged for that. So that's something I would recommend when right off the bat is acknowledge your shoes. You know, hey, those are some nice shoes. My wife has some shoes like those. Or, you know, my wife has been wanting to wear shoes or whatever the reason may be, right? Start a conversation by complimenting something that they're wearing or something that they're doing that really gives them the ability to just break down that wall where you're not just going to say, hey, what do you do in your business? Hey, how do you know, whatever, right? Uh, on a male, some things that you want to compliment them on is, uh, you know, Probably ask them a question initially about, you know, the day, uh, how they got there, um, you know, maybe a, a, some type of topic that you may be discussing or, or have learned about that day. You know, try, try to talk to an intellectual conversation. That's kind of where you want to lead into. Um, some of the things that I've done, like when I'm out at a networking event, when I see a guy, I'll uh, introduce myself. And, Firm, firm handshake, okay? Do not give a flimsy little handshake where it feels like your arm is dead, right? That's not, you know, people are going to remember that and that's going to be an immediate turnoff. So have a firm handshake. When you go to give a handshake, look right here, okay? This is where you want to look at because that's exactly where you want to connect, all right? So look right there the whole time you're about to give that handshake. Go right into it and initially just say, hey, how you doing? My name is Manny. I'd love to introduce myself. I like to kind of stroke the ego a little bit. So what I'll do is like, I think I know you from somewhere or you know what I see you for comp across the room and I I just felt I had to get to know who you are right stroke their ego like if they're a very very important person that's something you would I would recommend for somebody that's a male um, so that's something that uh, could really help you out in, in networking uh, some people ask me where do they where do you find networking events where where can I go to just network with other business owners or professionals or network marketers and a lot of uh, great places that I found is three different places uh, Eventbrite is a good place to find place uh, uh, places to network. Uh, Meetup.com and Inthecalendar.com. It's a completely free site where you can go on there and just browse around to see what's available in your area. You can go and search by your location, search by maybe a city that you're going to be in for a few days, something like that where you're going to be able to um, really see what's available in the next coming days or months that you can attend to. Uh, another great way is to ask for uh, referrals from some of your clients, um, some places that they go to and stuff like that. Hey, do you do any networking? Hey, where do you go? Invite, Keep me on your invite list. And I get invited every week to new events. So it's something that is definitely 
uh, a great way to get in because then that way you have somebody to see at that event and then they can introduce you to other people that's always a great thing and then another key factor is always go to provide value you have to understand when you go to a networking event it's not about you it's not about you know finding customers for your business it's how can you be a resource for that person that you meet so kind of the things that I like to do I ask like three ask I like to ask three different questions I first ask so what is your business model what is it that you do right so what is your business model this way I can learn about what they're passionate about or I can ask them something like what kind of projects are you working on right now you know that could lead into maybe they're writing a book maybe they're doing something that's going to be different than what other people are offering um, another thing that you want to do is you want to ask questions like what is your target market who is your customer right so something like that I would ask is you know who would be a perfect client for you if I was to refer you somebody into your business who would be a great prospect for you and so I get um, questions like that so you know that'll get them to start talking about themselves and the last question I, I usually ask them is what is the biggest challenge that you're facing in your business right now so for me I have over 20,000 business professionals in my network so when I go and talk to somebody if I can't be a resource for them I know somebody who can and that is really key so you want to grow your network of influence so you have a resource for every single person out there because you may not be a customer for them you may not be a, they might not be a client for you but that person knows the next client for you that person knows the next resource for you in your business to get you to that next level so if you can go there and you can provide them a resource for their business do you think they're gonna remember you when you need a resource for your business exactly so that's kind of the key is is going to a networking event knowing that you have value to be able to offer and be able to give out that value and be a resource for them so this way you don't have to go in there just thinking oh it's always about me it's always about something that I need to do and uh, that way you don't really have to worry about you know losing that time and that opportunity because if you go into a networking event knowing that you are going to be able to give value to somebody there then it gives you that that uh, that comfortableness that you don't have to um, really worry about am I gonna get all these leads am I gonna get all these sales am I gonna find that prospect because you're going to see somebody at that event that probably will change your life that probably will be a good not only a contact for you maybe even a good prospect or a sale for you but could also be a great resource for you down the line that could be sending you referrals that could be inviting you out to other events like here's an example here's how I was able to bring on Les Brown as a client I went to a networking event that I didn't even expect that I was going to have any value towards but something kept pulling me to go to this event this guy kept asking me he owns a, a social networking platform and for me it's just not my my customer base of, of the people that he usually networks with but he kept inviting me out to it so one one week I go out to it and um, and I meet there a bunch of different people that could be decent prospects for me um, but I made an impression on a guy named Dave Phillipson and he runs this um, not runs this business but he's a recruiter for this uh, this networking group called CEO space and if you google the CEO space international it's a very big organization <laughs> they do uh, the business they have a, a group event every couple of months in the Vegas area and they um, and they get industry leaders like Les Brown Bob Proctor Sharon Lecter all these big name people to come in and and speak at their event so I met uh, I had met a lot of these people I'm sitting there talking about what my business does and I made an impression on this guy Dave Phillips and where he ended up giving me a call the next day and saying hey I, you know I think you'd be a great candidate for our CEO space program um, I want to introduce you to the founder of the company his name is Bernie Dorman and so he had him give me a call he did three-way and he started talking to me about you know you should come to this event and it's a really great opportunity blah 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 and at that time I was already listening to Les Brown and I was following him around because you know I'm an orphan he's an orphan he's where I want to be and so for me it's just like that's kind of like uh, like a mentor to me if I could possibly ever meet this guy and so um, Bernie gets on the phone. He's telling me, "Hey, you know, we're gonna have uh, Les Brown at our next event. He's gonna be speaking." I'm like, "Are you kidding me, Les Brown? No way. That's awesome." So, you know, I ended up uh, working out a way to get to that event. It was something that was not obtainable financially at that time. This was a little over three years ago, 
And, you know, for me, it was just like, man, that's like, it was close to $10,000 to just go to this event. And so I was like, wow, you know, that's something that uh, it would be a great opportunity, but I just don't think I could do it. And, you know, for me, it's just, he, he told me about the, the opportunities and the people I've made to meet there. And he's like, you know, if you come out to this event, I, I, can, I can get you to be able to, you know, connect with Les Brown. And I was like, wow, that's, that's an opportunity just in itself. So I committed to making sure I could do that. And within three weeks going on, I made sure that I was able to, to get to that event. So I got there. I connected with Les Brown's son. I uh, started doing business with him to start doing business with Les Brown's uh, daughter. And then they ended up getting me a sit down with Les Brown. And I ended up able to bring him on as a client as well. And it's just it was just a dream come true to be able to take that opportunity that was initially a networking event I would not go to, made an impression on someone I didn't really meet at that event. So where they called contacted me and said, Hey, you would be you'd be a great candidate for this, to meeting Bernie Dorman, to getting to CEO space, connecting with a lot of people there, getting to meet, you know, Les Brown's circle, making an impression there. And it just snowballed until I finally was able to bring on Les Brown as an actual client of mine. So it's crazy just the things that you'll be able to do and the people you'll be able to meet just by the opportunities that will present itself. So always look for that opportunity. Always look for a networking event. My time's cutting out a little bit here, so I don't want to take up too much time before it cuts out. So I'm going to go and leave it at that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about networking events, get in touch with me. You see my number below this video here. Uh, shoot me a text message. You let me know what you think about my training. If you have a topic you'd like me to speak about, if you need some training on a, in a certain way of power lead system, how it works, how it functions, just let me know. I'm here to be able to help you guys out. I've done you know dozens and dozens of videos already, so I'm pretty sure I've got a video out there that could help you out with what you're trying to get through. So I'll leave it at that. You guys have a great week. I'll see you next week, and always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.